my job description was to seek out, find people, and kill them in the name of our country and defense. Here's an example. We were on a mission in the far north of this country. There was only six of us. We were protecting a high-level diplomat, yet the whole team had food poisoning except for me. So I was the only person available to protect this person. While everyone else was laying in a bathtub, I had the client in one room, had my pistol on my chest, and I was sleeping on the couch. Glock 17 pistol, magazine on, weapon cocked, no safety catch, ready to deal with any person that came through that door. I had the ability to recognize the situation, find the fear, make it come true, get in there and deal with it to keep people safe. It's very good at it. But at three o'clock in the morning, it wasn't one person that came through the door. It was six people. I've gone from being asleep to ready to go. Six foot four, 115 kgs, trained to kill. One round up the spout, pulled the trigger, power of life and death in my hands. I dealt with that situation, and to the person that I was protecting, I became the most important person on the planet to that man. There was a time, the mirror was my greatest enemy. I hated what I saw in the mirror. Hated him. Because I started playing this dangerous game called comparison. I started comparing what I used to be to what I am now. Fat, broke, depressed. I started attacking myself in four areas where you'll get attacked. Those are the four L's. The first L are your looks. Too fat, too skinny, too short. The second L is your language. You get attacked for how you speak or your lack thereof. The third L is your likability. Everyone wants to be liked. That's why Facebook calls it likes. And the fourth L is your legitimacy as a human being. You're not a legitimate human being if you're in love with the same sex. You're not a legitimate human being if you believe a certain belief. Does anyone have the right to judge you for how you look? Yes or no? No. Does anyone have the right to judge you for how you speak, what you say, and what you believe in? No. Does anyone else have the right to decide if you're a legitimate human being or not? Yes or no? Then why do we do it to ourselves? Then I learned another secret. No matter what I saw, those that loved me saw something totally different. Those little monkeys didn't see a fat, broke, depressed, useless human being. They saw daddy. To them, daddy was the hero. Daddy was fit and strong and made them feel safe. So I had to get fit again. So I was using my kids as fuel. So this is what I did for my positive thinking. I looked at myself in the mirror and I said these words. From this moment on, I'm only going to say and act in a way towards you that makes us feel good. And it worked. It started to get better and better. I started to feel happier and happier. And other people started noticing the changes too. So I continued to train. We did all right. Not too bad. But we were happy when we saw each other. How I felt inside was more important than how I looked. If you were dealing with any of these battles, any of the four hours, you'd be fighting yourself. But if there is no enemy within, then the enemy without can do us no harm. Wherever you go in this world, you take yourself with you. You're going to see yourself every day in the mirror. Be your own best friend. If you want to succeed in life and not have the outside world have control of you, you can do it. But it all starts with making peace with the mirror.